Hi, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be talking about an eyeshadow palette which is not really new but I decided to still do a full-on dedicated video on this palette because I was just so surprised and so happy with the formula of the eyeshadows in this palette. So the palette I'm going to be talking about is from Stila and this is the Stila Camouflage Beauty Eyeshadow Palette. Now this particular palette is currently not available on Stila's website. I believe this was part of their summer 2021 collection. They have this one and they have another palette. I think it's called the Nobility Palette. The Nobility Palette is still available on the Stila website, but this one is no longer available there. But however, if you want to pick this palette up, um, it is available on Stila's official storefront on Amazon, which is the only other place where I saw this. Um, I had actually picked this up from Nordstrom Rack. They were having this online at Nordstrom Rack maybe like back in January, December, and it was like 12 bucks there, which is why I decided to pick it up. And I'm just absolutely blown by how beautiful the formula and the shadows are in this palette, um, which is basically why I decided to talk about it. Although, you know, the number of places where you can buy this is limited at this point. Um, I've also heard that a couple of people have been finding this um, at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So if you um, you know, keep an eye out. You might be able to find this there as well. And I think there it's even cheaper than Nordstrom Rack. People are finding it for like $10, which I think is a phenomenal price, especially considering how beautiful this palette is. So this particular palette, as you can see, the packaging is very nice and slim. And um, it's also made in the US. They have the shade names at the back. And if you open up the palette, this is what it looks like on the inside. So you have um, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you have like eight shades totally. It comes with a nice mirror. And overall, I like the packaging. It's very nice and sleek. It looks like it might travel well. So that's something I like about it. Um, yeah, usually Stila comes out with nice plastic heavy packaging. And this is something different, I believe. I don't think there are too many Stila palettes which are in cardboard. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, Stila generally as a brand is so below the radar, like nobody really talks about it. And, and it's generally not something, it's not one of the most happening brands, in my opinion, at least from what I've seen online and, you know, on Instagram and on YouTube and things like that. But I'm guessing they still have like a nice core group of customers because they're still in business. So... Overall, I really like this um, eyeshadow palette. I was very much attracted to this palette even when they released it back in like July. Um, the shades really caught my eye. As you can see, it's a very interesting mix of shades. You do have some cool tones here. You do have some warm tone shades here. So it's like a very interesting palette that way. I mean, there are not that many palettes which have these kind of shades, um, you know, this, this, this array of shades. So it's a very unique palette that way. Um, and I'm very glad I picked it up because the formula is something that really blew my mind. I've not had, I didn't really have that high expectations from this palette. So, I mean, it was like, wow. <laughs> so I will tell you exactly why it's so wow. So if you look at the shades here, so you have this one, which is a shimmer shade. This is a shimmer shade, this one and this one. So you have a total of like four proper shimmer shades. And then you have this particular shade out here, which is like a matte with um, some glitter specks on it. So something like what you'd call a sequence shade. Um, now these three shimmer shades, the gold, this uh, taupey purple kind of shade, as well as this bluey, it, it, it really pulls very strongly blue on my eyelids. I guess with my skin tone, it does. These three shades have an extremely creamy emollient formula. It kind of reminds me of the uh, formulation of the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights eyeshadow palette, like really creamy metallics, and they give you such a foil look. I'm actually wearing the taupey purpley shade on my lids today. It looks really beautiful, and it's like got zero fallout. It just sticks so well to your eyelids. There's no creasing, nothing. It's just gorgeous altogether. The other shade, which is also a shimmer shade, that is this dark green kind of a shade. That one is um, it's more like, I wouldn't call it a topper shade. It's a little bit more chunkier than these three creamy metallics. It's got um, a little less pigment. It's a little more flaky than the rest. But even then, this also looks extremely beautiful in my opinion. 
So those are the shimmer shades. Now, if you look at the matte shades here, um, the mattes are generally not the most mind-blowing mattes, but they also have enough of a, you know, um, creaminess that they're easy to blend and easy to layer on and not look muddy on the lids. So overall, I really like both of these. Now, I shall insert a clip right now where you can take a look at this palette up close and also take a look at the swatches of this palette. And as you will see, the first off, if you look at the palette, you can see close up how the shades look very different from what you'd see in normal eyeshadow palettes. And if you look at the swatches, you will see that the mattes don't really swatch like super pigmented, but at the same time, they're very easy to build and they don't have any fallout. So it's very easy to use these mattes in my opinion and they also layer well, they don't get muddy. So if you layer two of them, you can actually see the transition versus getting a muddy mess. So that way I really like the mattes. The shimmers, like I said, the three shimmers, the gold, the blue and the taupey purple are just absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal in terms of how creamy they are. So the swatches of this palette that I've shown right now were basically done with no primer and I used a brush and basically I would go with the brush into the pan once, pick up the product and then just swipe it across my arm. So that's basically how the swatches were done. And um, yeah, for that, I think those metallic shades, those three metallic shades were just beautiful. They just, just packed a whole bunch of pigment and they just look so creamy and so foiled. And um, yeah, I guess a lot of people were saying that the uh, Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette, which is what this reminds me of, the metallics, uh, is very similar to Sydney Grace's metallics. So, you know, if I just do that, <laughs> if I connect the dots like that, I'm guessing these metallics are also probably very similar to Sydney Grace's metallic shades. So overall, this palette is really beautiful. I really enjoyed um, multiple looks that I was able to do. In fact, I even mixed some of the cool tone and the warm tone shades and I've been trying to play around like that and it's been fun and it, it still gives you pretty decent looking looks. I mean, it doesn't look odd. Um, for example, today on my lid, I've basically done... So usually what I do if I'm using this particular uh, taupey purpley kind of shade is I would basically use this in the crease, this in the outer corner and this all over the lid. But today I just decided to go in with this slightly more orangey shade all over my crease and then use the green all over my outer corner and then do this on my lid. And surprisingly it looks pretty nice. It doesn't look weird or anything. I've kind of basically mixed some cool tones and some warm tones together and it's still working really nice. So I think this is a very versatile palette that way, especially if you like to see what happens when you mix these kind of different tones together. And overall, even if you, um, you know, just follow the usual thing where you, you know, group it by the tones, like you use only the cool tones together or the warm tones together, you still get very good looks. So overall, what I'm trying to say is this is actually a very versatile palette. Although when you first look at it, you might think that you might kind of get stumped on how to use it. But um, I think once you just go for it and just try some, whatever you try, it eventually does give you a very good look. So I've never been failed by this palette, basically. Whenever I try to do anything a little bit outside my comfort zone in terms of mixing tones and stuff, it still worked out to look very, very nice on my eyes. So overall, I really like this palette and um, yeah, I've been enjoying it for the whole month. In fact, I've been having a lot of fun with it. And I love the fact that it has zero fallout. None of these shimmer shades has any fallout. I've still got the swatches on my arm and it's just very comfortable to wear and overall no irritation, nothing. They are not pigment, uh, they're not um, perfumed or anything. Very nice, very comfortable to use. So yeah, that's my review of this particular palette. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon for my monthly favorites video, which is running a little bit late. Um, in fact, I wanted to put this video up last week, but uh, I just had a lot of other things happening and plus I was kind of debating whether I should actually have a dedicated video for this particular palette simply because it's not really the newest and the biggest thing out in the market right now. But anyway, it's still available at Amazon and of course you can always uh, see if it comes back in stock in Nordstrom online, Nordstrom Rack online. And um, yeah, I guess, and it's still available. I 
I do still see Stila products in and around um, the Marshalls and TJ Maxx in my area. So you might be able to find it there as well. So overall, uh, I hope you like this video and I will see you again in another one. Bye.